footballgameplans.com where football makes sense. I'm Tyler Merkovich with Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bringing CFL previews. The Stampeders of Calgary, 22 fumbles last year. They need to do a better job of avoiding those turnovers. Well, you look at the running back, they have the best running back in the league, and Jeffrey Reynolds, the guy that averaged over 1,400 yards a season, 20 touchdowns, uh, 11 touchdowns, I'm sorry. Since 05, he's been the best running back in the league. Tremendous playmaker, consistent guy. He's a CFL's version of LaDainian Thompson, that type of playmaker. And when in doubt, just hand the ball to him. A lot of fumbles came from the QB position, but you know, when in doubt, turn around and hand it to running. Quarterback Henry Burris, is he gonna avoid turnovers? Uh, he's gonna, he's a dual threat. I mean, he's the best dual, dual threat quarterback in the league. Can beat you with his legs and with his arms. He has to avoid those fumbles, but he also has to get more consistent and also has to get back to his 08 form. He dropped a little bit. He had 39 touchdowns in 08. Dropped a little bit to like 20-something touchdowns last season. But if he gets back to 08 form, this team can go back to the Great Cup and be tremendous throughout the season. And they lost former standout from Tennessee wide receiver Jermaine Copeland. So how do they make up for the loss of a softy veteran? Well, you look at Nick Lewis, a guy that's 5'11", five, five, 200 pounds, 210 pounds, solid physical wide receiver. He's going to be an awesome playmaker, but they need, they need the other guys like Rambo, Thelwell, Bryant to step up and make big plays. But I think Nick Lewis is going to move over to that number one spot and take the, you know, he's already been solid for a long time. So he's going to take Copeland's place, but they need the other guys to step up and take Lewis's place as Lewis is going to be the focal point. Offensive line, are they going to protect Burris? You know, he's got the wheels to get away from people. So talk about Well, they got, a solid, they got a solid old line. They do a good job of protecting uh, Burris. But I look at Ben Archibald, the big lineman, uh, all-star, and also Rob Lazeo, 6'5", 330, another big guard. So the old line has two talented players, but they do a solid job of protecting Burris. It's tough to protect a quarterback that can move around in the pocket because you don't know how long the hole blocks. But that offensive line does a solid job of protecting Burris up front. And their defense gives up a lot of yards, but not too many big plays or points. We're talking about that bend, but don't break heat. But it also starts up front. You look at the defensive line with Jim Davis. He give, They give up 6.6 .6 yards of carry on the ground. That's tough. That's tough. That puts you behind the mm -hmm. chains defensively, so they have to tighten up on that aspect, number one. Two, I look at the linebacker in the core. It's a question mark. You know, I, It's a big question mark on that defense. That also ties to the running game. But I, I like the fact that they have... Charleston Hughes, a solid young prospect, you know, last season had six sacks from the linebacking position. That's key. They have physical secondary. Are they going to implement the same scheme? Well, you look at Dwight Anderson, all-star, you know, four interceptions, physical guy, a true lockdown corner that they have for the Rough Riders. So that's number one. Two, they also have Brandon Browner, a safety that's tremendous. Another guy that had four interceptions. So he's going to be huge. That's a physical secondary. They all need that front four. They stop the run number one and get pressure on the quarterback. Stopping the run is key in the CFL. For more previews for the CFL, visit footballgameplan.com slash CFL or visit us at youtube.com slash footballgameplan.